Welcome everyone to another episode of How Bad Is It? Now with my co-host Clark Mann, he decided that he wanted to be a part of the series, which is great because today's episode, we're definitely gonna need them. But if you're new to this series, this is where I take non-Lego branded brick building products, I build them up and I answer the question, how bad is it? In this episode, Woo! we're getting back into a brand that we've already been into, starting with this set. It's gonna actually gonna be a double header, but uh, we got something for Clark that I thought he would really love. I bought this set specifically because I want to make a video titled Lego Should Have Made This. And it is the Mega Constructs Boom. Hot Wheels Monster Boom. Truck. Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker, yes. Why did Lego not make this? I have no idea. But I wish. I wish they did, but Mega Constructs did, and or Constructs. And I think Clark's gonna enjoy that oh, one. Oh, you can turn it into the car too. You can turn it into the car too. The Hot Wheels car. I have a feeling this one is not going to fall in the how bad is it, but how good is it? I have something from the world of Mega Constructs too that I kept inside of the, the box because I wanted to show you the damage that happened to this as it arrived oh, to me. Oh. And it kind of makes me sad, but since it's not Lego, I'm not that I'm worked up. Spoilers! I got this right here. Mega Constructs. Oh goodness, this is the uh, Build War Master Chief. 638 pieces. Uh, I like him bad. Look at that, guys. When I look at him, it makes me want to pee myself. Roxy is also going to pee herself because it's such a gorgeous model. I love buildable figures, and I thought this was pretty darn sweet. So mine is oh, 638 puppy. pieces. Parks is 194. Roxy is a one piece build. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's a one heart build. We're going to get into these and, and build them up in this episode of How Bad Is It? I'm gonna start this off with an unboxing and it looks like these open a little differently than Lego sets. So we'll cut right through there and peel that back to reveal okay. all of Parkman's pieces for the bone shaker, which as he mentioned, does convert into that car. You can swap the tires apparently. Holy and it comes crap. with a new thing. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Wait, that might be bag number two. We well, gotta be careful here. Yeah, that's two. You don't want to get too far ahead, but uh, we'll just set that aside for right now. And we'll open up bag one. Oh, your little minifig's already in there. He's built. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look here. See if we can get the full cost. I can't open these bags. Oh, they're not Lego quality, are they? No. But there's the minifig. He's all right. Hey, these are easy right. to open. Hey, bone shaker face is in there. Oh, that's a good piece right there. I'm, ah, I'm stealing this. My, Sorry. Take a look at that piece, guys. That's pretty darn cool, right? I'm also seeing a lot of prints in here. I don't see any stickers as far as I can tell. So bonus points for Mega Constructs on that front. Is that a Mega Constructs ultra rare brick separator? That's the worst brick separator I ever seen my whole what? existence. Jeez, you're not joking about those bags, are you? No. Holy smokes. There's our brick separator. There's all these little oh. pieces. There it is. You oh guys all want to see it. There you go. The brick separator. We can turn the box into a track for like that. I had no idea that was even a thing. Bonus points for that too, Mega Constructs. Bag one builds the car. And then bag two, you build like the base for the truck. So you can move these back and forth however you want, Clark, man. Okay. You can switch them around. So I have to start in bag one? Yeah, you start with bag one and build the car. And then you can use the bottom of that to put it onto the truck and then switch them around. That's actually kind of cool. Two models in one. With Clark Man in business, I guess I'll get into unboxing my already somewhat unboxed Mega Constructs Halo Buildable Master Chief. I saw this and I just needed it in my life. I think he just looks so darn cool. And to put this on display is going to be amazing. I can't remember how much I paid for these things. I'll put it down in the description below. It's been a little while. We've had other things pop up including the spongebob sets which if you didn't see that video from last week why am i even bothering with this should i <laughs> yeah i'll try to open it properly if you didn't see the video from last week i'll link that one up above where we did the snap and switch sets and those were actually pretty darn good oh goodness mine's a little bit more uh in more intense than what yours is but there is the manual for this and holy crap my pieces oh my gosh this is gonna be this is gonna be oh. something here boys yeah we got a lot here a lot of the olive green pieces or army green pieces that master chief is made up of this is gonna take me a while uh but might as well jump into it and get started with it in my first and only time building a mega construct set i ended up live streaming myself building the little pikachu guy and that was a brutal experience the instructions are pretty difficult for this and i had a whole bunch of pieces left over which apparently is normal I'm gonna make that mistake again. I thought it'd be fun to go live with everybody and 
work on this. I don't know if this is going to be a one or two day operation, but we're going to get it started and hopefully be able to answer eventually. How bad is it? Not Pikachu, but Bone Shaker and of course, Master Chief. Two hours of live streaming later, we've got some mixed results here. Mine, not quite done yet. Master Chief still needs some legs, but I had about as much as I can handle of building mega constructs because if you look at these manuals, it's it's rather brutal. And uh, yeah, I just trying to stream and build at the same time, plus all these extra pieces and stuff. It's just, I need a break from this. There is good news though, and that's that Clark man who's a much better builder than me. He ended up finishing his set. So this is the bone shaker and I'm gonna let him do the review on it since he was the guy that built it. So here's the car. Let's take off the roof. The ma little man's driving it. Hey, don't call me small. Is it compatible with Lego? Can we get a Lego minifig in there too? We'll do a scientific test here for you guys to see if you're a Lego fanatic. Can you work your mega constructs with Lego minifigs? Clark will answer your question here. Yes. And he fits in there. No problem. Sides look pretty nice. Got the... The wheels are nice and smooth. Yeah. I like the flames on the side and the fact that all of that was prints. Mm -hmm. That's real nice. Mm -hmm. So that's just car one. You yeah. can see the front of it there. Anything mm -hmm. else you should, we should show on this? I guess you want to see the... Bone shaker. The bone shaker guy on the front. You got the exhaust coming off the sides. Mm -hmm. So Clark's doing the transformation now where you take the bottom of that off and you add it to what was bag two. And that turns him into the monster truck that is Bone Shaker. You just gotta scrunch everything down there. Yeah. That was the hardest part for Clark, man. You can see some of the pieces on there aren't quite scrunched. He was having trouble getting everything like smushed down because it takes a lot of strength for a little dude. But he did the best that he could with it. And this no. is for five plus, which is pretty reasonable. No. This guy is just, he just got ruined. My set though is for eight plus, And I have to say, this is, this is a brutal build. It really is, which is why mine didn't get finished. I have excuses for everything. And now the question is, how bad is it? So, the wheels on the car are super smooth and zippy. Do you like that? Yeah. Okay. And like the big monster truck wheels, they can move like this and stuff. And I like, and the thing I don't like is the claws down here because those were hurting my fingers. They were hard to put on? Yes. Okay. So I, I don't like the claws at all. And I enjoyed building the rest of the model. The rest of the model is just love it. You love it. Okay. Yeah, except for the claws. Everything but the claws was good then. Mm-hmm. Okay, so how bad is it? Not bad at all. Would you buy this again or would you buy another one of these if they had it? I'd buy another one. Okay. I'd buy one of the other ones, like this guy or, the, or this guy. Oh, they got a whole lineup here. Hot Wheels license is strong with Mega, and Clarkman is, is sold on these. Like everything but the, oh. the claws on the side and possibly the scrunchability. As you can tell, he's having issues even getting that on and getting it sit properly. But you just really got to just full send on it with, with some strength. <laughs> and that's what he did. So there's that one. I'll be doing a little update here uh, in the next second showing you the completed Master Chief. And I'll tell you just how good or bad he is as well. Our first ever day two of a How Bad Is It video. Clarkman left you guys off yesterday with a glowing review of his Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. Said he loves it, would buy the entire line. Well, I'm about ready to spoil the whole mood here because I just finished up Master Chief this morning on a live stream and it was a miserable experience. He, no, get me wrong though. He looks great on display. That's a good looking model. He's going to look fantastic sitting here in the studio somewhere, but the build, the build was awful. I had the same issues with this as that I had with the Pikachu set, all these extra pieces. That's just one of the problems. I hate having all of these because you just, you don't know if it's built properly with Lego. You have some pieces like this left over. You're like, yeah, that's, that's a problem. I shouldn't have that. But with mega constructs, they're just like, Hey, you're building a collection. Let's give you a, a thousand extra pieces. And they did that. So I guess that could be a good or a bad thing for me. Kind of a bad thing as a non mega constructs collector. The other issue is that with this build, and as you can see on his body here, all the pieces are basically just either like tiles, small slopes, or small plates. And a lot of the pieces are very similar in this set, and it's hard to distinguish which one's which. You also have these pieces that can be uh, like they're double-sided. And 
coming from a Lego perspective, a lot of these elements don't exist. So you're sitting there in the manual as you're building this and you're kind of just like scratching your head trying to figure out like, oh, is it that one or that one? And you'll see that come up a lot in, in this build. They'll give you like a, a check mark beside one piece and an X beside another one. And I won't be able to find any right now, but you get the idea. Like some of them are just so similar and it, it, it just, it makes it for a difficult building experience. This is a, a pro builder set, but it's eight plus. And I just don't necessarily agree with that. Clark's gonna grab this set that he was working on this morning. This of course is Lego. This is eight plus. Look at this set and look at the difficulty level. I'm sure some of you guys are like, oh, that's super easy. Then look at Master Chief. It's like a whole nother level. So Mega Constructs definitely has more faith in their eight year old builders than what Lego does. And that kind of comes through on the instructions as well. Some of these steps are just kind of wild. I also don't like the fact that they have all the individual bags, which is great. But then every time you go to build something, it's always like two or three bags. So it's kind of defeats the purpose of having bag three and four. You might as well just make that bag three because they were all very small. This is 12 bags for 638 pieces. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of at the point where, again, it's on display. It looks great. I think it's, it's cool. Master Chief looks amazing as he should, but for $50, and three hours of my life that I spent building this and not enjoying any part of it, I think this is gonna be my last Mega Construct set. I think I'm done, at least me personally. Clarkman, on the other hand? More. He might be into it a little bit more. So that's the difference between uh, people and, and their interests and what they want. And everyone's different, but this is my opinion. That's kind of what this series is designed for. Not only am I showing Lego builders what other worlds exist out there, but I like to give my opinion on them and sometimes it's really good, like in Clark Mann's case. Like he would tell you guys to go out and buy this. Me personally, with this set, if you really wanna have it on display, I think it's worth the $50, but I think what I would do is I would go try to find a Master Chief figure in that same price range, or maybe even a little bit more, that would look way better than what this looks like and avoid the whole building process of Mega Constructs. That is, unless you're a Mega Constructs enthusiast. In that case, you'll probably enjoy this set, especially if you're also a Halo fan, and I think there's probably some crossover there. But for me, I love Halo way more than I love Mega Constructs. I'll play the next Halo game, but I won't build the next Halo build for Mega Constructs. And that's where it stands. So how bad is it? Clark says good. I say bad. I guess we'll leave this one as a draw. What do you guys think? Master Chief, worth it? Worth $50? This one, worth $20? This was worth the how much money ever it is. However much it is, Clark says it's worth it. All right, there you have it. That's the, the verdict on how bad is it. Our last time, well, my last time ever messing around with Mega Constructs, I'm out. Before we wrap up this video, I wanna ask for suggestions for our next episode because we are wide open now. Mm -hmm. The how bad is it backlog is empty. So if you know some type of brand that's either something that you think is really good that's outside of Lego or something that you think is really bad that you just want us to experiment with and uh, give our, our critical review of, throw it down in the comments and it might end up as the next how bad is it. Run down the build ah, into the trash can. It's really bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Even with all that bad stuff I said, Master Chief, you're still gonna go on my shelf. Let's see if we can find a nice little spot for him over here. Thank you. How about right in, it, right in front of this bonsai tree? I feel like that's, you know, it just fits right in here, right beside the raptor. Does he look pretty sick there? It looks like he drove it there. It does look pretty good. Yeah, he, it looks like he just drove that. F-150 Raptor all the way over there. If only the build didn't suck. Cause it looks so good. It looks good on display and that kind of is worth it, I guess. So take that into account, but there you go. That's this episode. We'll see you guys in the next, how bad is it?